The union at Urgence Santé denied today that its recent pressure tactics ever endangered the public. It's the latest salvo in a battle that's still going on despite the fact that everyone is back at work. Stefan Giroux has this report. Call it a love-hate relationship, call it a hate-hate relationship. Tension between ambulance technicians and management is as old as the company itself. But the population never had to suffer from these disputes, at least until this weekend. Urgence Santé had to warn the public not to depend on ambulance service because the drivers weren't showing up for work. Today, the union representing the technicians said the situation in the last few days was no worse than usual. To make it look worse and also to try to blame that it's the pressure tactics that caused this problem. Urgence Santé refutes this and says it's a miracle if no one died while waiting for an ambulance. The union maintains its pressure tactics were directed at management and that the public was never at risk. In fact, the only visible signs of protest are defaced vehicles and the technician's refusal to wear a uniform. It doesn't affect the care. And the blue jeans, in case of a disaster, stuff like this, there are no problems that we're going to be very well identify. Management sees it otherwise, and this week, even Premier Daniel Johnson had to warn ambulance technicians they could expect trouble if they didn't get back online. But his threats don't seem to scare off union leaders. Oh, I hope that Mr. Johnson will be uh, uh, with uh, all his uh, re responsibility and will take good decision to settle the problem, not to increase uh, the problem. La Rose may be laughing off Johnson's threats, but he would like the Premier to get involved by naming a special mediator. And until this happens, the relations are expected to remain tense between the two sides. Stéphane Giroux, Pulse News.